wonder how many of you folks ever attended an old-fashioned singing school in the country. I went to one once years ago, and we learned an old-time song, and I'd like mighty well to have you hear it. Now you listen. Uh, you see, the women sung the air to it in them days, and I sung the bass, but I've got to sing the air on it now. The bass don't sound very good alone. There ain't no women here to sing. Uh, originally written in G, but I have to play it in C. It goes so blamed high, I can't reach up there. I have to play it where I can. If I don't, I get mixed up. Oh, gee, I can get the cow's home and first them in the pen. There's four verses to it. You take it clear through. I just sing the first verse in the chorus. That's all I ever learned. Just that much. Oh, chorus, best part of it. You can tell that chorus as soon as you hear it. Oh, yes, that goes fine. Oh, uh, this ain't the chorus I'm singing now, you understand. Oh, no, I ain't got to that yet. I'll be there in a minute. You'll hear it. Oh, uh, gee, I can get the cows home, put them in the pen, for the cousins are coming for to see us all again, and the doubt is in the pad, and the turkey's on the fire, and we all must get ready for cousin Jed and I. Here's the chorus, cousin Jed and I want to have a jolly time, Jerusha put the kids along, we'll all take tea. Ain't that a dandy? By jinx, I always like that old song. You know, you take these modern songs, all full of hymns and vamps and pajamas, they don't appeal to me, not a bit. I like them old timers. Well, I guess I better play your classical piece. I'll give you one I know named Pop Goes the Weasel. It's a beauty. You see, we went down there and stayed out in the edge of town to one of Sile's relatives, and that night, just before we went to bed, Sile got out his watch, wound it up, took it by the chain, let it right down into a pitcher of water. I says, Silas Haskins, what under the sun are you trying to do to your watch? Well, Sile said he felt kind of poor that day because he'd spent 40 cents in Boston, and... He said that his folks told him before he left home, if he got short of money, to soak his watch. 